Howdy folks, Tex here at the Adventure Agents. And today, me and my son Axe are going on an invasive axis deer hunting adventure here on the beautiful island of Molokai, Hawaii. We're gonna be exploring, hunting, meeting some new friends, and eating some absolutely delicious deer meat. And we want you to join us on the adventure. Bye, love you. Get a deer for us. Bye. We're doing a guided hunting tour and they pick you up here in Molokai at the airport and they put, oh, that might be them. Oh, the far end, the front, okay. How are you doing, what's Jake. your name? Jake. Jake, good yeah. to meet you, Jake. This is Axe. Oh. So you grew up here. Oh, this is the bunkhouse. Yeah, that's the bunkhouse. Oh my goodness, this is great. Wow. That's the rifle we'll be using. Yeah. Okay. I shot a rifle, a 30 yacht 6 when yeah. I was like 12. That's the only uh, high caliber rifle I've ever shot. No <laughs> a gigantic grape. So that's 308 and that's 270. 270. Yeah. Okay. Either of these will kill a deer though, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I, I'm counting about 400. Does that sound about right, maybe? <laughs> So this is the rifle we're going to be using. We're about to go out and make sure that we're actually accurate enough marksmen to where we can kill a deer safely. It says you're a human. Well, that's good. You recited a species. <laughs> <laughs> So the first thing we got to do here is figure out if I can actually hit a target, an axe can actually hit a target, such that we can kill a deer and not just uh, hurt it, right? We don't want to just maim the animal and it run off and have some injury and die really far away. We want to actually kill it. Down. Woo! No, so you shot <laughs> high and then a bit to the right. Okay. Alright, it's Axe's turn now. There you go. There you go. Yep. You're right on that? Yeah. So just put this snug to your shoulder, and all you want to do is just be able to see everything through that scope. Like this? Can you see the target out there? Oh, I see it. Yeah. How does that feel on your shoulder, though? Feels good? Yeah, Feel good. pretty stable? Yep. Good. So when you're ready, you're going to kick that onto fire. And then you then you're gonna put your finger on that trigger and slowly squeeze that trigger. Good. Got oh. it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. first try. <laughs> nice. Good job. How'd I feel? <laughs> Good. Got it. Nice. <laughs> Missed it. Man. <laughs> So we can officially say that Axe is a better marksman than me, at least so far. So, dude, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. Good work. Good work. I do. I need to play more first-person shooter video games. So, would you say that we've graduated? We're, yes. We're, we're, as long as you take your time. We're, we're ready to, for the big leagues now. We're actually going to go on a hunt. Good. And 
That's what we were hitting at 200 yards there. Oh, right there. There you are. Yeah. deer right down in this valley right here. They're really far away so I can't show you on the camera. Okay, so we're moving to a new area but we have a bullet in the chamber so he's going to explain to me what we do in this situation now. So okay. remove your clip. Remove the clip. Okay, let's push that forward. Clip, that clip out. Yep. Okay. No, now you can lift up the bolt. Hold up the bolt. Okay. And then Check your bullet. There you go. There oh, that's it. Then we just put it back in here. Some of you probably knew that, but I didn't. So now I do. So the deer are more active later in the day as things cool down, and it's getting to be afternoon, evening right now. You see a little bald spot right there, Axel? Just to the okay. right of that. Alright, so no luck today, but we're going to get up early tomorrow morning and head back out. This is it, the mongoose are sus. Alright, so no luck hunting today. We're back at the bunkhouse. We weren't even supposed to hunt today at all, but Jake was nice enough to take us out just to give us a little bit of a taste of what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Tomorrow is when the real hunt is, and we got to get up at 5.45 a.m. So we're going to have some steaks for dinner tonight. Oh, the deer foot. Smell it. Smells good. <laughs> That was terrible. Why did he you... likes it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I had no idea y'all were going to make us food. That looks so good. Wow. So who's this? Lola. This is Lola. Hey Lola. Hey. Ah. So that's Pablo. Yeah. That's Lola. Yeah. And this is uh, Nala, right? Yeah. Okay. This chicken is delicious. Thank you so much. No, oh, put that one in. But... Very yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Emmy, it's oh, just Lola. <laughs> Lola, no. Oh, Lola. You. Oh, my God. You're so <laughs> cute. All right, Sophie. You can have a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sophie. Yeah. I got one for Lola. There you go, Lola. Yeah. There you go, Pablo. And we didn't forget about Nala. Oh, <laughs> all right, Pablo, get back. You already had yours. This is for Nala. There you go. Yeah. No, everyone goes there. That place has like no loot. Above this brown farm area, go towards that. Good night, Darian. Good night. All right, so since Axe is a better sniper than me, evidently, I just tried to brush up on my skills a little bit and shoot some video game guns, but uh, I don't think it helped. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, our bellies are full. We are so tired. The real hunt begins tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Time to make some breakfast and get on the hunt again. I'll let him sleep for just a little bit longer. Hey, girl. I'll give you a piece, okay? First for breakfast is fresh mango and yogurt. Hey, Axe. He's a tired teenager. We gotta leave in about five minutes, Axel. You want some mango? It's 5.40 a.m. Early bird gets the deer. Ow. Kinda hot. So we got beef bacon, avocado. Here's second breakfast. Hey, girl. You come? Good. Good girl. Nala here looks about as tired as I feel. <laughs> if we get some deer, I'll share a little piece with you, okay? Oh, that was this morning? Yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. 
So Jake's got these trail cams around, and he's been looking at the activity this morning, and it looks like there's some deer out there, so. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. He's sharpening the knife because we're going to field dress the deer right out there while we shoot it. Oh my gosh. Is this for killing deer? If you want it to be. <laughs> oh man, that is cool. Let me get go. So what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I like to live life on the knife's edge there. I'm gonna put the case on. Can you get it? There you go. Chest, never put it above the shoulder. Is that a good height for you? Yeah. Does it see this fence line? Yeah. It's across that fence line going down. It's coming this way. So we're being as quiet as possible because deer are very easily spooked. But Jake sees a buck right up here. Jake's got really good eyes for this. I do not see this buck. the camera over and so you didn't get that shot. Axe took a shot at a deer. We want to see if we can find it. Well, you got it Axe. Wow. There you go. That's your Dude answer. give me five. Y'all missed the whole thing. He shot and the wind blew the camera over but Axe got his first deer. He hit it dead on right. You can barely see that entrance right there. Sure. It should be an exit. Well, unless it did it right, right there. there. There you go. Wow. In one end, out the other. Nice shot. So, how do you feel? Good. I'm so proud of you, X. Wow. So is this buck young or is this buck just regrowing its antlers? Yeah, so every year the antlers fall off. Uh-huh. So this horn might have been like this before. And Got it. Next year it would probably be a little bit bigger. Right. No gutting involved. So Jake is doing this in such a way to where we don't have to gut the animal. We're getting all the meat we can without having to gut it. That's the liver. Oh yeah, look oh, at that, that. that. So we're getting some of the hide. Axe has always wanted to try to tan the hide of an animal. And so for his first year, we're definitely going to give this a shot. There you go, put it over you. <laughs> All right, Axe, so you got your first year. We are so grateful for the life of this animal. It's going to be nutrition for our body. And again, everyone, we said it before, but there's no waste in nature. That deer is going to feed a lot of little creatures here. It's also going to feed the grass around here and the grass will grow and the other deer will be able to eat it. Circle of life. It's only 7.32 in the morning. Yeah, this guy. Oh, you want some deer meat, huh? You want some deer meat, huh? Oh, Pablo. Pablo wants some deer meat too. Actually, I can't believe your first shot at a deer. You got it dead aim. <laughs> that was awesome, man. So he's trying to get ice on all around on all surfaces of the meat as much as possible. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Nice. Sit. <laughs> She's like, how about stand on sit. Good girl. Oh, nice. Get all the corners to the edges. Hold it. All right. Oh, oh Pablo! <laughs> what are you doing, Pablo? What are you doing, Pablo? Huh? You can't come with us. Pablo wants to come here. Right out. Good, Pablo. Just had to 
that tree right there. Four or five. Four or five. Oh. They're going this way. Here, get ready. Get ready over here. Do you see the spot right? The grass spot? They may come out in the field right up there. Right up there. See that? here because it's way hidden in the brush. They're true. Okay. Well, we're kind of low. Okay. Okay. Put that gun in the shot. But if deer is banged out like this, so you're gonna have to place that shot where she can see his shoulder. Shoot the one that just you know. Right on the shoulder. Got it. Yay! Ow! Nice He's shot. My yeah, my ears are ringing too. We didn't get it. I got it. Yeah. Look, look at it. You see it. He's dead. Dude. You're a pro, man. Uh -huh. he, he he turned us on stealth mode here and made it happen. Thank you so much. Man. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, a good shot, man. That thing dropped right there. It's actually smaller than the other one. So to be 100% honest with you guys, it is very difficult um, sitting here with this beautiful creature knowing that we just took its life but uh the reality is is that that's life that is life life is a circle of life and death you just want to be right underneath its skin cut it off right there jake you made that look a lot easier than it actually is thank you so much for coaching us through that man we really appreciate that we're going to be better off for it in the future if we're out in the field axe and i uh, and we get a deer and we don't have anyone like Jake around to help us out. And that's the idea of coming out here and doing this. All right, so we're gonna bring this home to the dogs. Way better on you. All right, we're gonna head back and cook up some deer meat for lunch. One more. Yep. Okay. All right, folks. Well, we had two deer, and it's only barely lunchtime now. So we got this awesome backstrap here and the tenderloin. We're gonna go ahead and make this up for lunch. Does Pablo like tenderloin? I think that's a yes. I cut this back strap against the grain and I'm gonna fry it up in some of this bacon grease from this morning. And then I'm gonna grill the tenderloin using this seasoned salt that Jake gave me. Mm. So, I'm gonna try that first. What do you think? Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is fantastic, y'all. Wow. I wish Trinity were here to share this with us, but we are bringing it home to her. Give her some good nutrition. So here's the tenderloin. Asparagus here. Oh. Hi, Pablo. Look at this. <laughs> Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. Probably like tenderloin. We already figured that out. Oh, look at that. It's just got a tiny bit of red still in it. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That is intense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's hard to tell. I should have cooked one without the seasoning because I don't know if it'll be that good without the seasoning or not. <laughs> but that seasoning is certainly good. But I think I cooked it too much. Darn it. <laughs> so what do you like better, the tenderloin or the back strip? The asparagus. <laughs> wow. Asparagus is always the best. Alright, so Axe proved that he's worth his salt. Now we're going to see if I can get me a deer. So the deer we saw over there seems to have moved on, so we're going to move on too. So we're walking to the next spot because the ATV is spooking the deer, we think. shoulder and you're stable, take it. Shoot. No, no, you hit it. I see it. I see oh, it. you do? You gotta shoot it again, though. So I hit it, but I gotta shoot it again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't shoot. Okay. I think I seen her head to the left. Yep, I see her ear. Yep. Got it. Nice. Got it. Oh, man. You still see it? <laughs> All right, folks, the sun is setting. We, yeah. we got to make it, that we need to get 300 it. yards it. In through this ca canyon to the other side there to get this deer before the sun sets so we can get out of here. I have a flashlight in that backpack. So we not only have to find the deer, but we also have to get all of the meat off of it, pack it away, and then make it all the way back over here. It's really difficult to navigate this terrain because everything's all funky and there wasn't any good landmark that we could see where the deer fell. So we're pretty much just gonna be guesstimating things. It should be right around here. No. It's up on the... Like those two trees right there look about, you know, something like where it was laying. You found it? Axe found it. Nice. All right. You're right in the spinal cord. First shot. First That's shot. That's why it was slow. All right, well, it wasn't quite the clean kill that I wanted. Uh, obviously, but uh, it was it was uh, a long shot. Home enough, so, so I think it's because I got to... I was happy you seen it. So it would take me quite a while to do this, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let <laughs> Jake do it here because we do not have a lot of time. We need to get out of here. All right, folks, we made it. We made it just in time for this beautiful sunset. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, so perfect. Yeah, you guys, this has just been the most incredible experience. So grateful to be able to do what our ancestors did. A lot of my ancestors, I come from Northern Europe or something like that. A lot of deer hunting going on to keep those people alive. That's for sure. So all that deer hunting has got us very hungry. So we're gonna do asparagus, salmon, and some leftover chicken that Jake's mom made us last night. And that's what Axe has requested with his asparagus here. And I'm having salmon and the chicken that Jake's mom made. Oh, that could pack a punch. Look at that. That's as big as my hand. Grab it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good night, you guys. Good talking to you. Good morning, Pablo. 
Did you sleep well? Huh? Good morning, everyone. It's time for breakfast. We got a shirt with So I act as I'm hungry right now. I ate too much last night. <laughs> so I'm eating dragon fruit, bacon, and egg for breakfast. Pablo likes bacon. Does Pablo like bacon? Yes, Pablo does. Is that one for you, Nala? There you go, Sophie. I think that's Sophie. What? You want more bacon? Huh? I forgot about you. There you go. One, two, three, four. I could spare four more. I had extra bacon this morning. One for you, Pablo. Sophie? Oh, I forgot your name. And Nala. Bacon, bacon, bacon! These bags are bulging. This meat barely fit in both of these. Had there been any more, it just wouldn't have fit. All right, so we just weighed it out and we have about 110 pounds of venison here. That's worth about $1,500. That's incredible. 1600 uh, About $1,500, at least, if not more. He's such a good girl. He's such a good girl, bye-bye. Go Goodbye, Nala. We'll see you later. It's good to meet you. Goodbye, Pablo. Goodbye, Sophia. Goodbye, Lola. Random people can't, yeah. All right, Jake. It has been an amazing time, dude. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for this awesome experience. You made our first hunting trip the best. So much meat. No, it's a big buffalo. Yeah, how you doing? Thank awesome, you. Awesome. If you cannot meet the standards or unwilling or unable to perform the action. Exhausted, and we need some good hydration and fruit. So we got this uh, delicious acai bowl here before we go home. Banana, strawberry, honey, blueberries. Amazing. Is everything all right? Hi. Hey. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. You're so much more beautiful than I remember you. What happened? I, oh, it's because I was gone for a while. Yeah. All that stress. Oh, my ears in here. The hey, dude, here. what's up? The deer's in here. We got, de we got the deer. The deer's dead. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> the deer is dead. Or fortunately. Yeah. We were, guess how many pounds of deer we have? A hundred and ten pounds almost. Only? Really? Yeah. Only? Only? What? Well, I guess. But you caught three deer. <laughs> I know. Three deer. We got these for the dogs. Oh, They're wow. deer legs. Isn't that delicious looking? You want to chew on it? Have a bite. <laughs> Dude! Oh my goodness, I missed you so much! What did you do while I was gone? Did you have fun? Did you swim in the ocean? Yeah. You did, okay. Oh, look who it is! Look who it is! Oh, we miss you, Tracker, yeah. She smells it. Yeah, she smells the deer. She's like, please give me deer. Please give me deer. We can grill this up. We'll feed it to them with their food. This is a back strap. I seasoned it with salt and thyme. Right. Have a bite of the back strap. Mm. Mm. No, I can't. Mm. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Hard to make it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. That's good. That's about right. Mm. Oh. Go bark. Oh, it tastes like pork chops. Yeah, it tastes like pork chops? Mm -hmm. do, so do you like the sauteed and the butter a little better? Or mm -hmm. you do? The okay. first one. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look at that turkey, you guys. Oh, man. So now we've sliced up some of that venison and we're gonna make some awesome jerky with it. I'm super excited about that. I loved venison jerky when I was a kid. All right, folks, well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I wanna give a big shout out to Kalua Koi Outfitters, the company that Jake and his mom run there where they take people on hunting adventures. We had a fantastic time. They were so welcoming, so kind, so helpful when it comes to us going on our first hunt we really appreciate them i'll put a link in the description to their company down below we highly recommend them if you were wanting to do something like this and i also wanted to address something about the island of molokai specifically it is a very very special island um, the hawaiian islands in general are special but molokai in particular is, is a very special island and there's a lot of sensitivity surrounding the issues of private land there the deer themselves the axis deer were actually originally introduced to the island of molokai when, uh, in hawaii uh, before any other islands and they were a gift. Eight deer were given to the King Kamehameha at the time in the late 1800s and uh, it was like 1860s and they were first introduced there and they were put there as a future potential food source for the Hawaiian Kingdom, a kingdom that was several decades later overthrown by the US government uh, uh, without <laughs> the uh, consent of the Hawaiian people, of the Queen at the time. and. Uh, it's, it's a very sensitive subject, private land ownership, specifically by large landowners there and the uh, resources that are on there, both water and deer, and our hearts are open to all sides of these conversations and sensitive to that. Um, and I just wanted to, to, to kind of bring that up. It's something that, that uh, is very touchy and we, I don't even want to pretend, I'm not even going to pretend like I understand it uh, fully, but I'm always my mind and my heart are always open to listening to these conversations and thinking about them and stirring them in my heart to make good decisions in the future and, and be sensitive to these subjects. So also something I wanna do in the future is more nose to tail. We kind of treated these deer like bear treats, salmon sometimes, <laughs> you know, the salmon runs. We're like, just eat the good parts and, you know, kind of toss the rest and let, you know, let it feed uh, the natural environment there. Um, but I would like to bring the carcass back, bring the bones, grind the bones up, right? Nose to tail kind of thing. We're gonna try to do the, uh, <laughs> the pelt there, uh, the, the hide. We'll see how that turns out. Not sure, we're making jerky right now. Um, but in the future, I do wanna do a little bit more with the carcass of the deer. Uh, this is just how it had to work out this time. So anyways, uh, we really enjoyed this experience. It's kind of difficult for me, you guys. I actually had a nightmare last night about killing deer. I legit had a nightmare. It was, it was a bad one. <laughs> um, these are things that, you know, while you're out in the thick of it and you're like, it's, it's like, you know, a rite of passage, right, for, for uh, humans, like the hunt, right? It's what kept, helped keep our ancestors alive. It, it, the adrenaline, the, you know, uh, taking the life of an animal. Uh, I prefer that. If I'm going to eat meat, I would prefer to take the life of the animal because it gives me a lot more respect for that process, for that animal, for that creature itself, right? And I think it's something that is important and, and can be important for people. And a lot of people eat meat and they, they don't know and understand like a life had to be taken for you to be able to eat, uh, consume this meat, right? So anyways, I think there's something uh, important about that. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> Remember, life's an adventure. Love is a key. Love is a who. And love loves you. Love made you. Love caused you to exist. And love continues to uphold your existence. You exist. You are. You are valuable. And man, existence can be tough sometimes, but uh, it's worth it. At least that's what I believe. We'll see you on the next adventure.